And we are out here live at the Boys and Girls Club of Grand Rapids, of course, an organization working very closely with our young people. And joining me now, I have uh, Don Ward with the Boys and Girls Club. Hello. You guys work every day with these young people. What are you seeing right now? Um, there's a lot of angst about things that have been going on um, from day to day, whether it's academic, whether it's personal, peer groups, social interactions and so forth. And you can just see there's a frustration because a lot of them don't know how or what outlet they have, which is why we like to be a beacon for them to be safe, a safe haven and you know, tending to the whole child because sometimes it's not anything to do with schools, not anything to do with home. I'm just going through changes, me growing. Mm -hmm. And so we're just here to walk alongside them in that and make sure that they understand that there are people who truly care. And I was personally glad to find an organization that matched with my personal values. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just really holding their hand through some difficult difficult things in life yeah. um, and you get a lot of questions that sometimes are good and sometimes you never really thought you would have gotten but it's gotten it gets you to another place of conversation and over that time you begin building relationships and they start coming to you with things that they don't feel comfortable coming you know with someone else and that's really what we want to continuously have that when you come in these doors you are safe sure you know I'm sure some of those difficult conversations have to do with gun violence. We yes. were chatting earlier and we've reported on this, you know, two elementary age students bringing a gun to school in yes. Grand Rapids, two separate incidents within a week of each other. Mm -hmm. And that's impacting the young people that come here. It does because it's on their mind, whether it's a public conversation or private conversations, but in the end they show how much their children no matter what they try to do outside and grow up too fast, they have fears and they're worried about their peers, their loved ones and so forth and so on. So it is definitely a major topic that, especially in the last two weeks, that we have continued to address here at club. Sure. Well, we are happy to partner with the Boys and Girls Club on this Path Forward initiative. Uh, let's talk about, uh, for people that are not familiar, what exactly you do here with the young people. Um, well, I am in charge of programming and behavior. So basically each of our YDPs, which is youth de uh, development professionals, have an area and I support them in the programs that they are implementing in those areas and then deal with most of the behavior issues. So a lot of it is just leaning on them, showing them the right thing, and when they mess up, being there to understand but show correction as well. Mm -hmm. Quickly, uh, we want to you know, connect families to resources like the Boys and Girls Club. How can families get involved with you guys? Um, you can come to our physical location at Paul Lai 726 or you can get on bgca.org, which is our national um, umbrella and they can get all the information that they need, applications and so forth. Okay, Don Ward with the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you, we're excited to work with you here. Uh, moving forward on a path forward. Thank you uh, for your time. Again, uh, Max, you know, this Path Forward initiative begins today. So you'll begin to see these stories on our newscast. And if you have an idea, a person or a program, a group that we should cover, let's connect. You can see the email right there on your screen. You can also head to our website right now by simply scanning that QR code uh, to see all of the Path Forward stories that we have done so far. We have a dedicated section on our website along with a resource guide uh, at fox17online.com.